If you uh, click on this uh, last uh, in the uh, one of the early videos, I showed you this file, open data folder. So we can also access this uh, data folder from this navigator. This is the navigator. Click on it. You have this MQL4 folder. So MQL4 folder has got exports, files, images, include indicator, libraries, logs, preset scripts. Experts folder has got the expert advisors. Indicators have got the indicators. This include is the helper files. These files, they are, I'll explain this file, update id.desk. I told you in the last video that update id is important for us. So we will save this update ID in this file. I'll explain it to you why we do it in the coming videos. Then we have got images. We will save these images over here. So I want to show you two files that we need. Include, open this include folder and click on this telegram.mqh file. Now, this telegram.mqh file I've already installed. I have copied and pasted it in that folder. You will have to copy and paste it in your folder. This telegram.mqh. MQH is a helper file. Instead of uh, coding all the stuff in one file, we can break it into a number of files and later on we can call those files in the main file like this. Here we have got said include. This is the include folder, json.mqh and include telegram.mqh. So first I'll explain this telegram.mqh file. Then I'll explain this json.mqh file. The MQH files are basically helper files. Instead of uh, putting all the code in one file, we can break it into a number of files. And later on, we can call these helper files in the main file. The MQH has been provided by the MetaCode software, and it helps us to connect with the Telegram bot. So, see, enum chat action. We have defined an enum. I have explained what an enum is. So, action, chat action to string. This is a function. This function, class C, custom message, public C object. This is a class that it has defined in the it is defined in this part in this file c custom chat there's another class then we see custom bot c custom bot we will use it in our uh, mail trade copy and ea c custom bot remember i told you bot dot message so this is that bot i will explain it to you in the coming videos so oh, this seems to be complicated to you. Do not have to uh, understand everything. This, the hard things have been done by the MetaCourts Corporation. We just need to know few things to use this file. But we will need this file to send messages to the telegram bot and to send chart images to the telegram bot sometimes we want to check the chart i want to check what is happening on the h8 chart eight hour chart 12 hour chart so i can call that 
use a, a command that I'll explain to you in later videos and the trade copier EA will send me that chart photo. So this is the telegram.mqh file. You will uh, copy that file and paste it in the include folder. The second file that we, I want you to know is of this json.mqh. This is the another file that you will copy and paste it in your in, include folder. So this is license software license or MIT, so we can use it. It's free. MIT license means we can use it, we can modify it. So someone very good has done all the good things for us and he has coded this thing. We will use this uh, JSON.MQH to read the JSON message that the Telegram API will send to the trade copier EA. I showed you that JSON message. It was a long message with curly braces and in between there were objects and th their values. So this JSON.MQH will help us read that message. Now it looks like complicated. A good person has done all these coding to help us. We'll use it. We don't have to know everything what's written in this file. Just have to uh, copy uh, this file and paste it in the include folder. So here we will then call these include folder json.mqh include folder telegram.mqh and in the coming video I'll explain C custom bot bot what is it is.